Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about the first day of school. I'm so excited. Let's get energized and dive into this episode, and let's make some art. about the first day of school. I know it's a lot of jitters on the first day. It always is, even if you've been teaching for a while. But I'm gonna give you my advice for approaching the first day, no matter if you are in your first day as a teacher, your first year, or if this is your 10th year and beyond. So it's all good, let's dive into this episode. And here we go. Number one is to keep it chill. Keep it chill on your rules and expectations, okay? It is only the first day. It's only the first day. You're, you're nervous. The kids are nervous. Everybody is just nervous to see how the first day goes, who's in their class, who their friends are gonna be, or who's new, who's changed, who's moved, who their teacher is. They're going to be so overwhelmed with that that they're probably not gonna be have enough room mentally to take in a bunch of new information, nor are you. You're feeling the exact same way. Who's in my class? What teacher friends am I gonna have this year? Who's moved? <laughs> All right, exact same thing that they're going through, um, you're facing as well. So the best thing to do is keep it chill on the very first day, that is it. Because honestly, you're not gonna have a lot of time. I know it seems like, oh my gosh, it's the first day I get through all my rules and expectations and no, we do not have time and nor our kids going to remember it. And plus, most of them are things that you're going to have to build on throughout the year, right? You're going to have to practice doing routines. You're going to have to practice over many times doing setup and clean up and all those things lining up. We're going to be practiced for the next month or so, right? Um, I think of back to school as the very first two months because that's how long it takes to really establish your classroom and have everything in place and in terms of routines and expectations. So I would just give like a super duper, you know, brief outline, pick two things that are expectations, um, of, that's it. Um, and keep them general, like don't even go into the deep things, right? We don't wanna go on the very first day. We wanna open up and explain who you are, you're gonna introduce you, maybe show a slideshow of some of the things that you, um, some things about you, like, if you love Marvel, then you'll be like, I love Marvel, and the kids will be like, I love Marvel too, and I have a connection with my teacher, oh my gosh. And they go home at the end of the day, so and so at home, whoever I live with, um, my teacher loves Marvel, and I love Marvel too, I'm so excited for the year, blah, 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 blah. They're already buying in. Um, I don't know anything about Marvel, so <laughs> just, I'm, just, I can, I'm just using it as an example, as much as I can talk about it. Um, anyways, um, you're just basically going to just keep it chill, put on some nice vibe music, dim the lights, just keep it chill on the expectations. All right, number two is to do something exploratory, maybe experimentation, experimentative or play-based, right? So maybe you'll do your introduction, be like, hey, I'm so-and-so, here's me, here's a picture of my cat, here's a picture of my parrot, whatever. I really love spiders. Um, and I eat hot dogs for breakfast, I'm just making it up, obviously. And um, here is uh, about me, so here are a couple of rules or expectations that I'd love for you to abide by. And let's do some art. So you guys go put out some paper, turn on some like chill vibe music, maybe some cafe jazz, I don't know, um, some zen mindful music, just turn it on. You're gonna just pass out paper, put pass out paper, or have students, two volunteers, to put out the paper. Much easier, and then just put an assortment of materials or mediums at your table. Maybe like oil pastel felt markers and um, mock crayons at every table, and that will probably just stay out the whole day, right? Just keep them out the whole day, and then they can just explore. Or you can choose to give a prompt, like you can either say you can either do choice A, which is free draw, or choice B. Draw something that you saw this summer. I don't or I don't like to or draw something that you hope draw your wish for the year. I try not to do things like what did you do this summer? Because sometimes some kids do not have a whole I did this this summer experience, right? So I learned that 
eh. This as a teacher in my newer years too, I'm like, oh, I guess not everybody's like out camping or whatever it is, right? So I try to just be like looking forward to the future, like, oh, what do you hope will happen this school year? Or draw your favorite movie character, movie or video game character, right? So choice A, free draw, choice B, movie or video game character that you like, whatever it is, whatever prompt you want. So that way, if they can't think of an idea, they can pick this idea over here. But let the rest of it be free draw and then they can take it home. Or if you want to see what their style, uh, their ability to draw is, maybe you have them put their name on it, their classroom teacher or however you want to sort that, um, group A, group B, group C, and then um, collect it and use that as just a way to see where they're at in terms of ability. <clears throat> Not necessarily to assess and mark it's the first day, <laughs> but as an assessment, right, to a formative assessment to let you know, inform you about where they're at and where you might start this year, right? You're not gonna start really hard if they're like, you're looking at their drawings, you're like, whoa, we have a long way to go, <laughs> right? You might scale it back a little bit. All right, so my question for you before we continue is what questions do you have about the first day of school? Let me know your questions in the description below the video and I'll do my best to help. All right, next is um, as kids, uh, work. So now number three is, so as kids are working, right, your next task is that you've presented them this exploration. Now they're going, you're going to also have your exploration. Um, just have your piece of paper and it's going to be the same piece of paper that you're going to work on the whole day because it doesn't matter. The point is that you're going to go and you're also going to go to and, and create, right? You're going to go to a table. Um, you're going to sit at first table and just Start, take your stool, just take, take your own stool. There's not gonna be a stool for you, so grab your stool chair. they are gonna take around with you all day, and you're gonna set the table, and then you're gonna pop in and be like, hey, I'm here for a moment. You're gonna draw and sketch with them, and that way you can chit chat with them. They can see that, oh, look at my teacher's drawing with me, and see that you're also doing the same thing, right? And encourage them, and they'll be like, trusting you, because like, look, she's doing the exact same thing. She's doing the work with us. And also they can see what you're drawing. It'll give you a, a, an opener. They're like, wow, what are you drawing? You can ask them what they're drawing. They can ask you what you're drawing. Now it open, creates connections and opens doors a little bit into building relationships with them and community. Um, and then you're going to ask them their names, try to get their know their names and faces a little even better, right? By talking with them. Um, so, oh, what's your name? So-and-so, what are you drawing, right? Um, and then try to memorize their picture, their, you know, take a picture, mental snapshot of their face, name, stick it in your brain, wham, bam. Um, and then you're gonna, boop, pop over to the next table. And you're trying to, your goal is trying to, your goal is going to be to try and visit every table um, throughout the day. And that's kind of your goal. You're gonna try to at least get to every table for a few moments um, throughout the class, and then whoosh, day's over. All right, so then, Number three to four is um, during your first day also, when you do go to introduce yourself, make sure you introduce you, right? Not just like, I am a teacher, I've been teaching for five years and I blah, 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 blah. I went to this university and like kids don't care, um, to be honest. Instead, I would just introduce you and your likes, right? The real you. You're not gonna share everything in your personal life, right? But you're gonna create a some, you're gonna pick out some things of your personal life that are true to you that you wouldn't mind sharing to your students, right? Your teacher version of yourself. It is okay to be like, I like Harry Potter and I like to make ceramic sculptures and, and bird watch on my own time, right? Or I like to go to the movie theaters because I really love the movie theater popcorn. It doesn't really matter what the movie is as long as I get my movie theater popcorn because it's so delicious. And kids will be like, I love movie theater popcorn too. Oh my God, we can be besties. Um, but the kids really need to see that you are not a robot, you don't live at school, you don't sleep under the table, I mean under your desk, and that you actually do go home at the end of the day. If you have kids, you can be like, hey, I have kids too, one's in grade two, one's in grade five, whatever, I don't know, making it up, obviously. And, um, and just let them know, or if you have pets, let them know your pets and your pet's names, so they would be like, oh, my teacher has a bird, and his name is Bob, and blah, 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 blah. Um, anyways. Let, that way they can have, they can relate to you and know that you're not, you're, you're, you know, you're not a robot, you're a real person. I think that's super important because not always do they think about that, right? Um, 
I think that's probably it for the very first day of school. You don't really have much time. It goes by so quickly, right? You're gonna get to the end of the day and be like, wow, how did that, how is it already over? And sometimes the first day of school, depending on where you teach, is very short, right? Sometimes it's a half day or like a three quarter day or it's just the morning and then all of a sudden it's over and you're like in a staff meeting for the rest of the day. So it's, there's not a lot of time. So don't worry too much. It's okay, it's just the very first day. There is an entire school year ahead and that's more important. All right, um, if you're looking for any more advice or how to plan for the year, how to do your scope and sequence, um, how to plan lesson plan, um, classroom management, how to develop student participation, how to develop engagement strategy, um, engagement systems and strategies, um, productivity, uh, time management, classroom management, and so much more. If you're looking for a full professional development course on all of this, then check out my ProD course. That is an online course for my ProD workshop called Art Teacher Academy. It is a 10 hour professional development workshop. Um, that you can watch and work through at your own pace anytime and it's accessed on my online website. Um, so you can check it out and it will provide you with uh, workbooks, it will provide you with videos to watch um, that will, will be me teaching you all these things, such as your classroom management, your time, or your time management, how to lesson plan, how to develop your scope and sequence, and all of those things. And not only are you gonna get your workbooks and these videos, but I'm also gonna give you templates for all those things. So if you want lesson planning templates or scope and sequence templates, I will give all of those to you. And you'll also get the art creation toolkit included. So if you wanna learn more about my Art Teacher Academy to help you out, to get you through, um, becoming a very confident, stress-free teacher, then make sure you scan the QR code on the screen or find the link to Art Teacher Academy in the description of this video, or you can also just Google Art Teacher Academy and you'll find it like that as well. That's it for this episode. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. That will help me continue to create videos, these videos for you. Um, and I will see you in the next video, which is Classroom Management Strategies. You can watch that video by clicking the link above or in the description of this video, and I'll see you in that episode.